Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. You can probably hear the train in the distance, but guess what guys, we are in Kansas City area. So I'm super excited because I've been wanting to come to this area for a while and many of you have asked me if I would do a little bit of a food crawl and show you guys some of the cool places here in the city to eat. So I found something that has several different locations. We are at Jack Stack and uh, I'm really excited about this one. This was suggested to me and then we actually did something kind of fun. I had three different options of places that we could eat and uh, I asked someone at random which one would you choose one two or three not telling them which one and they picked this one. So today we're gonna go check it out and we're not by ourselves. we're gonna be eating with some friends so let's go. Okay guys, we just got our menu and it looks like there's some cool stuff on this one. We have starters and shareables, barbecue entrees, family style queue. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be super hard. Okay guys, so as I said, I'm not eating by myself. We have, we have friends with us and I'll, I'll show you that in just a second, but this menu has so many different options. And one of the things that they're known for is burnt ends, so I definitely wanna try that. But some of the things that they have are pretty cool because they have like this family queue option which means that you can get a plate that serves two to three and it has a variety of different meats and then also some of the sides and then they also have these in this little box over here you'll see they have what they call a pick two or pick three so those are the best options in my opinion if you're wanting to get just like a good sampling so i think i'm going to go with one of those i just don't know which um should i get burnt ends and something else or should I just get two different kinds of burnt ends and see which one I like the best? This is hard. This is super hard and it smells delicious in here. So um, I've got some stewing on this to do. Okay, these are our friends. Oh my God, we have I'm friends. <laughs> So guys, um, are you excited about Kansas City Barbecue? Yes, I didn't realize we were in Kansas City until just now. Yes, absolutely. We're on the outskirts kind of at this location, but there's other locations. So um, you guys, we're gonna get our food. It's gonna be like right here. It's gonna take up the whole table. It's gonna be delicious and I uh, can't wait. Oh my goodness, look at this appetizer right here. These are fried mushrooms. Would you believe that this is a fried mushroom? It looks like what, D? Donuts. Absolutely! Oh my gosh, and it comes with like a horseradish sauce. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> wow, this is a lot of mushrooms. These are big. These are really big. Okay guys, I have two of these and just to kind of give you an idea, this is my cell phone and um, if we were to take it, it's like two of these make up the cell phone. They're, they're really, really big. So now we're going to cut into this deliciousness. Oh my goodness. Oh. That is a beefy bite right there. Look at that. Ooh, that is a good looking mushroom. But um, I'm gonna take this down just a little bit more into a more manageable portion. And then we're gonna give it a shot, I think. This is a nice crispy batter on the outside. The mushrooms don't look like they've been cooked within an inch of their life, which sometimes happens when you have fried mushrooms. These are actually still very like juicy and firm. And so, uh, yeah, it's time for us to take a bite of them by themselves and then we'll try it with the sauce. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, they're very hot. Oh, but that's good. Mmm. This batter is a little bit different. A lot of times they use like a tempura batter. This is not that. It's a very crispy, crunchy batter. So when you bite it, it has a nice little crispiness to it. So it crunches, but then you have immediately the deliciousness of uh, of the mushroom. So yeah, this is a big win. We're gonna try it with the sauce real quick and then um, I'm just gonna get to eating because this is good, guys. This was a good recommendation so far. This is this is our next bite. This has the um, horseradish rumelade. Now, horseradish and me, we, we have a little bit of a love-hate relationship. Sometimes it's a little bit too punchy and sometimes it's just a little overwhelming. So if they can win me over with this, Mm. 
It does have a little bit of bite, but I would dip into that again. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't like sit there and like marinate on your tongue for like hours. It just like sits there and then dissipates so you can get the next bite, which I like because that's part of what I usually don't like about horseradish is it just hangs out there and then it's in every flavor that you try going forward. So, yay! Okay, so D has, what do you have D? I have the beef brisket, beef ends, Bur the burn ends. Burn ends and french fries and then french fries so for she her, everybody she has a little bit of extra barbecue sauce over on the side and then miss nomadic nanny what do you have over there i have broccoli with uh garlic butter i have cheesy potato bake i have beef burnt ends and pork ribs Ooh. go big or go home <laughs> And then I have beef burnt ends, and then I wanted to try the turkey because I love some good turkey at a barbecue place. And if they can win me over on that one, they win me over on everything. Does anyone now, I did pickles? split mine between yeah. fries and then their signature baked bean. It is time, and this looks delicious. Now, just for reference on the size of the plate, it's huge. Okay, um, it's gonna be delicious, I can say that. It smells really tasty it smells like it kind of has a little bit of sweetness to it but a little bit of spice so i'm really interested to see the flavors as we kind of put them together so um we're gonna take it bite by bite so you guys can see kind of what each thing has to offer and i think that you're going to like this journey as much as i do well maybe not quite as much because you can't taste it with me but almost as much but we'll see okay the first thing that we're going to dig into today guys is going to be these beans um she told me that i could split the two here so i was very excited to have the opportunity to try out some of these beans because well that's one of their signature dishes so it just looks really delicious there's a lot of little tiny beans in here some barbecue sauce it looks like there might be some bacon ooh, ooh, ooh bacon bacon we love bacon so uh, let's give it a bite and uh, you know this is my favorite part when we get to actually try the food so mm. oh those are sweet they are good. They have a little bit of that peppery bite to it at the end. Yes. Yes. She just came up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, these, these are delicious. So I can understand why this is one of their signature bites because it definitely has a bold flavor to it. It doesn't taste like it's just like out of a can like some places do that you go to. Sorry about it. But these, you can tell there's a lot of love into the baking process of these. So um, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get everybody to try these out in fact because uh, they're good, they're good. Okay, just so you know, my next bite is gonna be the burnt end. I've been looking forward to this since this place was suggested to me and uh, we're looking at a nice size meat here. Um, if you look at this a little bit closer, I think that you can see the texture of the meat is nice. We have a big chunk. They've cut it up into a nice portion size so I don't have to. And so with that said, mm. Mm. it like falls apart in your mouth and just kind of gently disintegrates in just like a, such a good way. It's kind of weird to say that about meat guys. I'm just saying, but it's a really good bite and so i can understand why this is one of their signature things because it is very tender and with that just little tiny bit of barbecue sauce it adds just a little bit of punchiness to it now a lot of people whenever they hear burnt ends they assume that it's like this charred piece of beef no if it's done correctly it is not a charred piece of beef guys it is like this where it has texture and it has the grain still in the meat there, but it does have that nice little outer coating that really, it's called the bark, guys. It, it locks in the flavor in the bark. So this one has a very nice bark to it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna eat some more of this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's time for us to try out the turkey. I told you guys, if they can win me over on the turkey, they win me over for life. Because uh, turkey and me, I love it. And um, it's even better whenever I can get it at a barbecue place. Oh, look at that, it just like, it's just shredding that is awesome so this is going to be very well done it's not going to be overcooked which is nice um that's usually what happens when you go to a place they kind of keep it in a little bit long but this does not look like the case this is a nice 
delicious looking bite and we're just going in with the barbecue sauce that they garnished on top of it but if i did want to add some more there is this back here so let's try this bite okay here we go mm. nice smokiness to it not too smoky mm. i do like this it's very tender it definitely doesn't have too much chewiness to it because you know sometimes that happens again with that overcook this is cooked well it has a good flavor the barbecue sauce that they use on top of it has a really delightful touch to it so um i'm considering this whole plate this plate this plate right here that is hard to pick up because it's so big this is a win right now but um i'm gonna get to eat now because my friends are already well into their meal and i'm slow as always guys i ended up with a little box because the food was good but it was big Okay guys, all in all, the food here was delicious. I would definitely come back. It was a wonderful experience and a great suggestion. Everybody's plate was a little bit different. The plates were large and in charge and the flavors were big, bold, and delicious. Nothing was dried out. Everything had a nice crispy bark around it that was supposed to. And um, that sauce, that sauce was super, super good. I would say that if I were to pick one item that was a rock star on my personal plate, I would definitely pick those baked beans, but there was not a bite that I did not enjoy. I have really enjoyed coming out to Jack Stack today and I hope you guys have too. If you have, make sure you leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys down the road. Bye guys.